What we want to know is, how does milk get into a carton? First, the udder has to be cleaned. Nowadays, milking isn't done in the time-honoured manner by hand, but by a machine. First, it's switched on. The cup cluster is hung on the teats, and that then draws the milk out of the udder. The milk runs through a hose. Past this inspection window, and then through a metal pipe. And finishes up in a tank like this. Every morning, a milk tanker arrives from the dairy. The driver connects up a hose and pumps the milk into the tank of his truck. He pulls up in front of the tanks. Again, he connects up a hose and the milk is now pumped into the dairy's huge raw milk storage tanks. This is what they look like. To make sure the milk doesn't go off, it has to be heated. This is done in this plant with its numerous pipes. The milk flows through the pipes. If we remove the connector, you can see that all the pipes are interconnected. Hot water flows through the thick pipes and the milk through the thin pipes, where it's heated to give it a longer shelf life. So, we've got the milk, now we need the carton. It all starts with cardboard like this. First lines are scored, where the carton will later be folded, and most important, the hole for the straw is punched out. Then the cardboard is printed with the Tetra Pak Joe Clever logo. The outer side is laminated with plastic. Now to the inner side of the carton. Here too a plastic layer is applied first, followed by a layer of aluminium foil. And so that the milk doesn't come in contact with the metal, another layer of plastic film. Needless to say, the real carton looks much better than our model. Incidentally, the hole for the straw has been closed by all the various layers. Otherwise, the milk would run out. All this packaging material is on a huge roll. But how does this roll turn into individual cartons? Normally, you can't see the next stage, but for the purpose of this film, we opened up the machine. The roll is uncoiled and this white roller adds a strip of plastic which is heated and bonded to the packaging material so that it sticks out over the edge slightly. To follow what happens next, we have to stop the machine, open the door and pull out the roll. The really interesting thing happens behind it. That's where the cardboard is bent. Now the finished tube passes to the bottom part of the machine. But how does the milk get into the carton here? Even when you open the machine, all you can see is the tube and some strange looking grippers. First, we have to stop the machine again and remove the packaging. The milk runs into the packaging. Down at the bottom there, the milk flows out of the pipe and rises in the carton tube. To make sure that the level of the milk doesn't rise too high, this float controls the flow. Good. Now that the milk is in the tube, how are the individual cartons produced? That's where the grippers come in. But how do they function? One of the grippers grips the tube, presses it together, seals it and cuts it exactly in the middle of the seal. Then the next gripper moves in and does exactly the same, presses it together and seals it. Now the carton is sealed both top and bottom and it drops down to the next station where the corners are bent over. They're first bent, then the plastic is heated until it's sticky and the corners are pressed down. Of course, it's not just done on one side but also on the other. Now the milk is in the carton. And now our Joe Clever milk carton is finally finished.